guys, I'm wearing my sculpt band today. We're gonna be doing a total body strength and sculpt workout. So I want you to grab one larger dumbbell or anything else that you can put your toes up on. So basically any dumbbell or even just like a rolled up towel will work. We just wanna be able to elevate our toes for some of the moves today. And then I also want you to grab a set of weights. So dumbbell weights, normally if I were not still recovering from my hernia surgery, I would be using probably eight to 10 pounds for this workout. But because I'm still recovering, I'm going to be using three pound dumbbells. So that's your call. You can use lighter with me today. I will be doing the workout based on what I would do with those eight to 10 pounds. So again, up to you, pick your weights. And then I do want you to also grab a band, so a resistance band. I'm gonna be using the Sculpt Co. one today. Um, let's see here, this is the one I'm using today. Again, I'm still recovering, so I'm using lighter weight. This is the two dots, but normally I'd probably use either the four dot or even the fabric, the heavy duty one, for the moves we'll be doing with this today. So again, full body workout. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Put that band off to the side for now. We're going to put our hand weights in front of us and have our other weight or whatever we're using just to elevate our toes right in front of us as well. We'll be getting to that later. Let's go ahead and start with some nice big stretches. We need to reach those arms up to the sky. And exhale. Again, reaching up to the sky. And exhale. Good, you guys. On this next one, we're going to reach up, but we're going to sit our butt down. So reach up sit down reach down stand up reach up sit down reach down stand up so it's kind of the opposite right reach up sit down and now let's reverse it okay this is what we're used to we reach up heels up and then down reach up you feel how that feels a little bit more comfortable that's because when you're reaching up as you're going down you have to really activate the core so let's try it again. This time let's hold the arms up. Let's come into a neutral squat stance. And we're gonna just squat down with those arms up. Keeping our chest in proper alignment here. That means we're not bending forward. We're coming straight down. Good, just allowing the body to do its natural thing to allow you to come down. However, we really do wanna keep those abs engaged here with the arms up. Let's go for four more. Three, two, and one. Good, bring those arms down. We're just gonna start using them like a running stance. And let's just start with a little march. So just using our arms as we naturally would if we were marching or running. And we're gonna take this into a little skater. So skate, skate using those arms. Just getting our bodies a little bit warmed up here. Now, if you want to take it a little bigger, we can take a little jump and hold. Jump and hold. Jump and hold. Good. Stick with that or that light skater. And we're going to go for 10 more seconds. Breathing. Nice quick warm up today. So we can get right into those big moves in three, two, and one, good. Standing in place, let's just roll our shoulders back a couple of times. Good, take some nice little hugs to the body, alternating which arm goes on top. Nice big arm circles back for three, two, and one. Let's step our left leg back. Right heel comes up and take a little stretch. Step it back up right away, another side. Good, use those arms up and over. Up and let it go. Three, two, and last one. Whew. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hand weights. Now for our first set, we're not going to be using the other toe elevator device, um, but we will be using it. So let's keep it near us. We're gonna start on our weakest side. So for me, that means I'm gonna press my left leg back behind me. That's the side that I always find balance to be a little off, a little awkward. So you choose what side that is for you. And if you don't know, just pick whichever side and you'll probably know by the end of this workout. So we're standing in a nice wide staggered stance. This left leg is coming right out from my hip, 
right leg jogging straight forward from my hip. So I'm splitting my weight between the two legs. Compound movement here. So palms are gonna face up and I'm gonna come down in a nice lunge position. So bring it down and up, that's your move. just as if I was using heavier weights today. These feel heavy enough for me at this very moment. So you choose what you need. Let's go for five, four, three, two. We're really gonna burn out this side of the body. One, let's hold it down, reach those arms up overhead. So core activation when we're pulsing it down for 10. We have nine, eight, Seven, good. Six, four, beautiful. Three, two, almost there. And one, we're not done though. Arms come down. Bring them right to your shoulders. Stay in this lunge position. We're going to step up, bring that knee through, press overhead, and step back to that nice wide lunge. Step, step, press, pull. Good, this is three. Up. Nice, you guys. Keep it going. Nice long set here. Four more. It's four. Three. We're not going to be done after this one either. Keep that balance. Two more. Two. Feeling that standing leg burning. Last one. Good, you guys, I want you to hold here. And we're gonna take a little cross punch and lunge curtsy. Cross punch, lunge curtsy, good. Three, if you lose your balance, just get right back into it. Four. We're halfway, five more. It's five. Good, we have four. Three, two, last one, hold it down, curtsy position, elbows pulling right in, so I want you to think of like a T-Rex arms, and we're going to balance our weight on that front leg, shift so that back leg can move, and we're going to tap side, back, last 20 to finish, this is three, four, five, Six, almost there, feel that sweat. Keep those arms in, keep that knee bent. Halfway, 10 more, 10. Good, a little faster, nine. Eight, seven, you got it. Six, push, five, four, finishing home run. Three, two, and one, bring it up. Good, you guys shake that leg out, and right away, we're just gonna go into a set of cross punches. Alternating sides. Punch. Good. Get those legs working together again. Not just one on its own. Nice. Into a little half jack. Here we go. Rainbow arms up. Up. Now again, if you're using those heavier weights, I would be too. I just want you to keep control in mind here. We just have three more. Two. And one. Nice job. Let's balance it out. Let's come into that other leg. So again, finding your first stance is the most important. Stepping the right leg now back behind me. Splitting my weight between both legs. So the weight in my front leg is closer to the heel. The back leg is definitely in the ball of my foot, the toes. Shoulders are down and back. Palms are facing up. And we're going to bring it down. And a compound movement. So we're getting biceps. We're getting lower body, we're getting core. If you counted that last round, we have 15 total. This is five, so 10 to go. Bring it down, squeezing those glutes. We don't wanna tuck our glutes under here. We wanna keep our upper body, our torso lifted. 
So it floats above those legs. And then I want you to really think of grounding that front heel. Good. If you didn't lose count, you keep going till 15. I'm gonna give us about six more right here. Six, five, good, chin up. Again, lifting and floating that torso over the legs, not tucking that back glute in. Feeling strong in your gluteus maximus of that standing one and bring it down, hold. Good, reach those arms up overhead. Palms can face front or in, either way. And we're gonna pulse it down. We have 10, nine. Maximize this movement. Seven, six, we're gonna stay low in five, four, three, two, and one. At your maximum capacity here, staying low. Don't come up. Bring those arms down. Give the arms a moment. Bring them back into your sides, right at shoulder height. We're gonna step it up. We're gonna press the arms, arms back to shoulders, and down. Good, nine more. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, good. Seven, six. Staying strong in those shoulders, not letting your shoulders come up to your ears. I want you to keep them pressed down, just using those biceps to lift the arms. Good. Let's go for three. If we got extra, that means that we're extra special. Two. And last one. Woo. All right, you guys. Remember now we're gonna bring it across. And bring it up. Punching across that body. Bring it across. And up, really working that balance. I'm leaving that in for you guys. I want you to see me shaking. I know you're doing it too. And that's part of the beauty. Come on, five more. Five, four, three, last two, and one. Hold it down in that curtsy right here. T-Rex arms, shift your weight so that back leg is movable, and we're gonna tap side, back. Keep those hips in the same position, just the leg is moving. Five down. Let's count it backwards when we get to 10. Here we go. We have 10, nine, eight, seven. You got it. Keep those arms in. Chin up. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Shake it out. And let's come right into alternating punches up to the sky with the knee raise. Punch. Punch. Just breaking down that lactic acid. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, you guys, second set. So we're gonna go ahead and step our foot now forward. If you don't have something to do this on today, that's totally fine. We can do it without it, okay? Just do it right straight on the floor. If you do have something, cool. Let's get a little different movement here. So we're gonna bring that lunge position in a little bit more narrow. And we're gonna do a little move where we sit back into our hips, bending both knees, and then bring it up. Good, sit it back. And arms come up. This is three. Stay with it. Feeling both legs working here, hinging back in those hips. Biceps are still working. We're gonna put those hand weights down soon, so don't worry, we just have one more set on each side. Two, and one. Good, now we're gonna stay in the staggered stance. Bring our palms down facing that front toe, and I want you to just wrap those hands all the way down around the leg. 
Scoop it up and up right row. Again, we're gonna bring it down and then scoop it up, up right row. This is three. Staying hinged back in those hips. So you see how that first move kind of trained you for this staggered stance. Deadlift. Getting a little different activity out of the back of that front leg by lifting those toes up. So it's all about shaking it up, trying something new, giving your body a chance to re-familiarize itself with a move, something different from what you're used to, is what's gonna keep pushing and keep giving you results, workout after workout. Good, really feeling it burn out. I'm gonna hold it down on this one, hold it down with me here. We're just gonna come ankle, knee, ankle, knee, ankle, knee. Working that balance. Keep going. You've got this. Burning it out. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Are you ready to hold it down in six for our final push on this side? Three. Two. One. Let's hold it down here. Final push. Palms face in. We're going to row up. Up. Give me ten good ones to finish this. Eight. Seven. Six, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. All right, you guys, let's set those weights down and just shake it out a little bit. So our weights are down. We're just gonna shake it out a little bit, side to side, and I want you to pretend you're skiing. So it's just side, side, side. Good, Re reaching your arms down. If you can go lower than I can today, that's great. If you are with me right here, that's awesome too. I'm gonna start to reach my alternate arm up, up. Getting a nice stretch on that side body. Good, just really shaking it out so we can get the most out of our other side. Let's take some little step backs with the shoulder raise, alternating legs. You guys are doing great. So proud of this crew for being here today. Really focusing on our total body for this workout, not leaving any parts behind. Okay, for three, two, and one. Let's bring it into that other side and finish this thing out right for our standing portion, and then we're gonna grab our band and we're gonna get down to our mat. We'll also get rid of these guys. So I'm gonna step my left toe up now. Right leg comes slightly out to the side. And again, I'm doing that hinge move. So I'm hinging back. It's not a lunge, it's a hinge back. And then arms come up with power. And powerful. Three. Four, really feeling those hips hinging back, stretching through the back of the front leg, the hamstring of the front leg. got this. Working on your balance. Feel those legs shaking. And one. Good. Bring that foot in slightly. Staying in that staggered stance. Arms come down. We're going to just guide them down right around the leg. And then scoop up with those arms upright row. As if you're zipping up your jacket. Two. I know that's how you zip your jacket up, right? Both hands, elbows out to the side. But you can imagine. <laughs> this is four. Go ahead, you guys. You're in it. In it to win it right here. Stay powerful in these moves. Feel the back of that front leg working. Getting that stretch and then that scoop of the boom boom. Three. Last two. Last one all the way up. Good, you guys, this one we're gonna hold it down and we're gonna go ankle, knee, ankle, knee. Feel that burn, feel that burn, you've got it. Keep 
Keep breathing. Both legs really squeezing those thighs here to stay mobile with the upper body and nice and grounded with the lower body. Squeezing from the thighs up through the pelvic floor. Lower abdominals are engaged. Wrapping around to the core in the back. Let's go for five, four, three, two. You're not done, hold it down right here. Scoop those arms up, 10 good ones. Nine, feeling that back. Eight, you've got it. Elbows really pulling up nice and high. Slow descent. For five, good, and four. Powerful, three. Yes, you've got it, two. And last one. Amazing work. All right, you guys, I'm gonna push that weight out of the way. And I'm gonna put these off to the side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my band. I'm sipping on some aminos today. I'm gonna be sharing in the next few weeks, a little bit about a DIY mommy makeover. So, a little hint, what's in this cup is part of that. <laughs> All right, you guys, grab your band. Come on down. You can go ahead and put it on your ankles. And we're gonna begin lying on your side. Now, if this is your first time using a resistance band, I would all, by all means, suggest that you start with a light one, like the one I'm using today. But if you're a pro with those resistance bands, you might want to try a little heavier. Don't get crazy. I want you to keep that body controlled, but definitely I want you to feel that burn through the glutes, wrapping around to the hips and thighs right here. Placing that front hand down in front of you. I want it to be a nice base of support, but I also want you engaging your lower abs. We're going to point our toes then we're gonna come into a Pilates stance. So that means our toes are out at a 45 degree angle so we can really squeeze our inner thighs here. We're gonna lift that top leg and lower it. That is it. Just lift and lower in that turned out position. Lift and lower. Good, we're doing three sets of 20 here. So 20 in this position, 20 parallel, and then 20 with the toes in. Getting every angle. Six. Full body workout would not be complete without some thighs and booty, right? Nine. Ten, ten more. Upper body is still. See if you can lift that hand up. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Now we're going to turn to parallel. So toes are pointing forward. I want you to flex your feet for this one. And I want you to just lift and lower that top leg as if you're in the middle of a small, narrow doorway. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. So don't let it be your front or back. Just straight up to the side. Lateral leg lift in a lying position. I'm feeling that. <laughs> And halfway, we have 10, nine, eight. Don't let that belly button poke out. Keep it in, scoop it in. Five, four, three. The heavier band you have on your ankle, by the way, the more your abs have to control, okay? Two, one. Hashtag things we learn after having babies and hernias. We're gonna bring the top leg across now and point that toe down for our final set. So you can put a little bend on this back leg, hinge that hip so the toe comes down as far as you can. You can even roll your upper body a little bit forward. And let's go for 20 right here. We're gonna hit that back corner of the glute, a place that's really hard to get. Go for 20. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, ooh, feel it, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. All right, let's flip it right here onto the other side. So again, just three sets of 20, hitting those three angles. 
starting in our Pilates stance, pointed toes. Front arm is supporting us, but not taking away the work from our abs. And we're gonna lift, lower. Little 45 degree outward turn of the toes. Bottom toes and top toes. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, beautiful, four, good, three, and two, and one. Nice work. Into parallel, flex the feet, let's get right into it. Up and down through a narrow doorway, right here. Keeping the feet perfectly parallel. Three, four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, halfway. Keep breathing, core is pulled in. Don't let that belly button jot out. Four, three, two, and one. Huh. All right, we can get through this last set. Let's bend that back knee, let's turn that top hip in. You can even rotate the upper body a little bit here, putting more pressure in that hand so that we can really get that outer corner of the glute. I want you to just focus on that. Heel coming up to the sky. Let's go, 20. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Oh, good work, you guys. All right, let's bring that band off of our ankles. We're just gonna hold it in front of us, seated position here today. We're gonna bring it around our forearms. Let's just do a quick one for our chest, and then we'll finish off with some bridge work. Right here, bring those elbows up. I can't see you, but you can see me. We're gonna move out. And in. Good, you guys. Let's do just one good set here. I want it slow and meticulous. We're hitting our biceps, our shoulders, and our chest muscles here. Nice and slow. We have 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, beautiful. Four, three, two, and last one. Oh, I feel a burn all through my chest after that. All right, band comes up on the knees, and we're gonna go ahead and lay down on our backs. Love to finish with some bridge work or back dancing. So we're gonna hit our abs here as well as our boom boom. Again, part of this total body workout. You want to bring your legs out a couple of feet so that they're not right under you. So out a couple of feet, flex your feet, reach your arms up to the sky, and then I just want you to alternate bringing one knee in at a time. So we go one, two, scooping the belly in. Good, now let's add in the arm. So we'll go opposite arm to leg, opposite, opposite. Last one. Good, you guys. Let's flatten those feet out. Readjust that band so it's right around the knees. Come out wider than mat's width. So if you had a yoga mat under you, I want your feet out to the edges of that yoga mat. I want the weight of your feet in the heels, but you don't have to flex, okay? So no stress or tension in the shins. Keep them grounded, but place your weight in the heels and think of it that way. We're gonna lift our hips up, wag our knees outward, Lower our hips down and drive one knee up. Repeat. Lift, open, 
lower knee comes in. Now it's not coming all the way in. I don't want you whacking that band out of place. I want you to think of control here. Just a little boop with the lower abdominals to lift that foot off the ground. With them out nice and wide like that, you're gonna feel it. Up, open, in and lower, and then boop. Good, keep going. Open, and lift. Open, little tiny lift. Let's do four more each side. This is one. One. Two. Oh, I really feel that. Three. Three. Last one each side. Give me one more good one here. Three. And three. Or four. Sorry, four. And let's bring the band down to our in steps. Bring your right knee in. And we're going to extend and pull in, extend and pull in. You're getting quad here, as well as lower abdominals. Five, four, three, adjust if you need a different band. You can pause and come back to it, two, and one. We're gonna hold it out here, hold it out, reach those arms up overhead, and then we'll pulse up. You're almost there, let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew, feel that thigh burn. Let's come to the other side. We're gonna kick it out and bring it in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Just make sure that band is on the instep and you'll be fine right here. We can also do this without the band. Two, one. Let's hold those arms up overhead. Little extra resistance here. Last thirty. Core is strong. Keep reaching, extending out as long as you can. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant work today, guys. Hug those knees into the chest. Let's take a little time to cool down. I'm gonna remove that band. I'm gonna lower my right knee down and then cross my left knee over my body, taking a nice spinal twist here. I can't wait to get back to sharing some yoga and stretching with you guys. As soon as I'm able to plank again, we will do it, I promise. And cross it to the other side. I'm at three weeks, one day, post-op from my surgery. Feeling amazing. I was given the okay to do workouts as long as I'm not doing planks or direct abdominal movements like sit-ups or crunches. Bring it back to center. Let's reach those arms and legs out long and then just give them a little shake. Shake everything out. Feels so good in and out with those thighs. Rocking your head back and forth. And let's bring our feet grounded. Lower back presses into the mat. Let's cup our head in our hands and take a nice little stretch of the neck. So no abdominals there, I just want you to stretch your neck forward. Cupping your head and stretch. All right, roll it up. And make sure to stay hydrated. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.